I've got Margaret Miller here. In the next several weeks, we are going to be doing, um, I'm going to be working with her on many accidents and conditions. And for the purpose of that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video to assess her living arrangements here. So she will be able to continue independence or we could make adapt abilities if possible for her continued independence. Here's her mailbox and we've got 50 yards that Margaret walks to retrieve her mail on a daily basis. So her driveway is paved with blacktop and it's in excellent condition. We're gradually declining or going downhill as we're walking to her house. Is, um, is there anything that you have to watch, watch for as you're walking or is the pathway typically clear, Margaret? It's clear. Okay. And how would you typically access, if you're going to get your mail, how access your house after that? In the front or back? Say it again. Do you go in the front door or the back door? I usually go in the front Okay. <coughs> so we're going to look at how Margaret goes into her, ho into her, her house on her daily walk to the mailbox. And what time of the day are you coming out to get your mail, typically? It's coming early now, so it's, um, <clears throat> it depends if I'm going to the store. Or uh -huh. It depends. I don't have a certain time anymore because okay. he's changed his time. Okay. Yeah, one, There's just some small cracks, but nothing that looks like it's a hazard here. And it goes from the blacktop to pea gravel as you go to the sidewalk to climb the stairs to the front door. There it looks like there's, the top stair is just a little taller than the other stairs. There's, is good rails on both sides of the stairway. And then as you get closer, there's um, a step up to go inside the door and then a small threshold. Let me take that. It looks like maybe an inch, um, an inch and a half to go into, to walk into the door here. Now we're in the entrance way. And let's look at, um, if we can just kind of go where you typically are walking in a day. So what areas of the house do you frequent? Oh. Will you show us? The doorway here is large. It um, looks like, let me see how. See, I, <clears throat> I, do have I can open this one. Yeah, she can open both of them if needed. So it's very wheel, yeah. it's not wheelchair accessible as far as there's not a ramp. Mm -hmm. But if you if needed one later on, you'd have to, you would need to add a ramp to the driveway and you've got plenty of room to get a wheelchair through. Okay. Now, what, you want to know which rooms I frequent? Yes. The most. Mm -hmm. This is the one I frequent the most. Okay, and there's a rug here. And, and it um, does have something to hold it down. Yeah, it does. Like. I don't have trouble with that. Okay, a small threshold. And then, so we're gonna go here first? This is, yeah, mostly I'm here. <coughs> Okay. This is where you go on a regular basis to... After I get my work done, I mm -hmm. sit in my recliner or go on my computer. Okay. There's the computer. Okay. It's it my looks woman's good. cave. Woman's cave. Everyone needs one of those. <laughs> Not just by men. <laughs> okay. So I know you spend a lot of time in here. Yes. You look at pictures. Is there any obstacles that you know of in here that uh, makes it hard for no, you to no, walk or? No, not any. Okay, no obstacles. Okay, let's go to the next room. Now what? Um, well, do you sleep the up here? The one I sleep in. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is where you sleep and there's some 
um, the hardwood no floor with a small rug here. It doesn't move. Okay. And then we're going into carpeting, and it's um, not plush, but it's medium carpet. Which and it kind of goes around like this. Okay. Is this this is where you sleep? Did you say you sleep in this room? Yes. Okay, so this is the bureau that you made reference to See, when, I get when up you get in up the to the morning, bathroom. Mm -hmm. I just go like this when I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, so you hold on to that for balance. Yeah. And then you go to the bathroom that's right across the hall, right here. Okay, actually it's just right to the And side. here's the bar that I held on to that I told you. Thank goodness I have this. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, yeah, that's great. Yeah. And then you've got, um, so you like to take baths. Love it. And you've got something you've got to climb over there. And let's see how much room you have from that. We usually have floor. a rug here Okay. when I get out. Okay. So that's a non-slip surface then. Your bath, your toilet looks like it's set up fine. Mm -hmm. And you've got some room, like that's about two and a half feet looks like, or maybe two feet between that and the shower. Okay, so you've got the entry to there, and then the entry to the larger area. Okay, all right, and then let's, where do we go from here? What, what else you wanna know? Well, you go to the kitchen. This is, oh, oh, you don't really go in this one all the no, time. No, this is the, the guest room. Oh, nice, okay. Let's go um, from here to the um, living room. Living room, you go in there a lot. Okay, and this one's set up. It's a very expanded room, and it's not cluttered with mer with items, so it's an easy walkway. Show them the, the lake okay. <laughs> and the houses over she there. She comes in here because it's a beautiful me. lake view. Woohoo! I would too. And let's see. It, and you typically sit on these couches when you're in here? Yeah. Huh? And they um, are pretty plush. Is it easy to sit down and get up from there? Let's see, you do that. No problem. Okay. Okay, wonderful. All right, let's look at the kitchen then. There's, do you use the fireplace much? No. Okay. I don't use it at all. Okay. <coughs> This is my dining room, and that's a... Do you eat out there or not really? When do you I eat have in the guests. Room? Okay. How often do you have guests? Not very often anymore. Okay. This is um, going into the kitchen. This is just maybe half an inch, but there's a t tiny rant tiny ramp but there's a little area here of like a quarter of an inch between the trans no border and that but there's not a problem no Marcus problem said. okay she goes in here to get her food in the pantry and here's also the washer and dryer okay Here's our kitchen. It's pretty open. We have to go upstairs because that's where I store my things. I go. Do you go in up there a lot? Let's yeah. go in that. Look at the patio room real quick since we're here because I know you sit out there sometimes. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is um, where she entertains when her guests come to visit a lot. It's a patio room, and there's a. Um, about a four inch drop off there of a step. And this is windows. It's not screens at all, it's, it's windows, right? Margaret. Pardon it's, me? Um, it's all windows, not screens, right? There's screens here. Okay, so sometimes do you open that and make it a screen room? Sometimes I close these. All right, is it all, can you always make it cool enough to hang out in here? Because it feels yeah. kind of hot right now. Yeah, right. And okay. The fan. Okay, all right. 
All right. Now and you have to go upstairs because this is where I I go up a lot to put up the stair store here. things. Okay. We're gonna got one more room, and then I have to leave that. You don't have it. to go downstairs, do you? Not if you don't go down there every day. Well, I really go down there every day, but. Okay. All right. Well, then let's do, do both of them. So. Here. Let me set this down here. Okay. Hold on. Okay, good. You've got a railing on that side and nothing on the other side, but open space. But you could. But as you go up, it's pretty easy to hold on to the floor there. Okay. And that's 14 steps, and it's um, no not problem. shag carpet. It's pretty flat carpet, but not as flat as Berber. Okay, now you get up this here, and this is like a loft area. Okay. And this is where I stare, store my thing. This is hot. When her I... son, her grandson comes out over, he goes downstairs, not up here though, right? Yeah. Okay, this is a small area. Um, that's a small door to get into the storage area. And what do you keep in here? That you get to a lot. Like, you know. Dishes. Uh, Christmas stuff and Christmas Halloween stuff, things Halloween things stuff. Okay, And okay. things I want to get rid of. Okay, can you hold this and let me measure this door real quick, this doorway? Just hold it like that. And the doorway is 23 inches wide. And five feet tall. And you can only open the door. Two feet. The door opens two feet wide. Okay. Okay, let's go downstairs to the basement. Thank you. Yeah. And this is another storage area. Okay. And these are All Doug's, right. most of Doug's things. Oh, okay. There was one other storage area that Margaret was showing to me, which is the exact same as the first storage area. We're gonna go down, we're gonna go back down this flight of stairs and go down to one more flight of stairs to the basement area. And that is an area where she and her grandson hang out, especially her grandson, but she goes down with him on a regular basis. I think I've been here, what, eight years by myself? Yeah, she's, her husband died at about eight years ago. So she's been living on her own here and doing well. She has the rail on the right and the wall on the left here. And there's 14 stairs. And it's not shag carpet, but medium shag, medium carpet. Then we're going into a door that's got a brick wall next to it. And here's her downstairs. And it's her um, play area for her grandson when he comes over. Look at all these books. Out. Come here, look. This is his oh, area. Okay, awesome. All right, it's got some rugs. Um, is this um, on top of the carpet and the furniture? Is it easy to get up and out? out? Um, what about that couch out there over there? What about is it hard? It? These um, are hide beds. I can make, you know, okay. if I have extra people, I can open these up. Okay. All right. And this is, uh, and that concludes our home. Huh? Um, that includes our home video. Is there anything else that you think? I, no, I just want to show you the guest room here. Okay.